So this is what I gotta deal with now. Good thing I came prepared. I guess let's just see what came in today. Before I cut my fingers off, I'm putting that there. Nice. All right, nothing crazy. We got some fun little things. We got AFR gauge for Steffi's Miata because we just, you know, boosted it. B thought it'd be cool if we went with some like nice OEM style vacuum clamps. Not bad. It's like six bucks on Amazon. And then this is the AC delete bracket for the Jay Z. All right, so nothing big, cool, crazy came in today, but something did come in yesterday that I'm pretty excited about, and that is a new throttle body for my one Jay Z. Well, new to me. So as you guys can see, there are two throttle bodies right here. One's my new one, and this is my old one. So you're probably wondering, what was wrong with the old throttle body? Now, that's a good question. As you can see, we have my old throttle body right here. And uh, it might look very similar to some of you guys, but it's actually completely different. So my 1JZ, my VVTi, uh, it's actually like the newest rendition of the 1J VVTi, which is sick because that means it was probably sitting in a junkyard for a little bit less time than the average 1J. But it does have some pretty funky controls on it, which I don't need because, I mean, it's going in a a drift car and I'm gonna be on a standalone ECU. What makes the VVTi throttle body so weird is the ECU actually has pretty solid control over the throttle of the engine. On the newer rendition of the throttle body, the ETCSI, the ECU has direct control over the butterfly on the inside by these crazy mechanisms right here. So as you can see, as I turn the throttle, nothing happens, it's just a suggestion. On the older rendition of the VVTi, you have control over the butterfly, but there's actually a secondary one right up front that can basically have first dibs on what the engine's actually taking in for air. So since we're going with a standalone ECU, we don't need that. We just need a typical throttle control and a TPS, which the older one has if you just get rid of all of this. This one forever is bulky, ugly, and has this crazy system on it that there's ways to get around it, but we don't need it. We can actually completely get rid of the first butterfly inside this intake and make it into a traditional throttle and TPS system. We're gonna start off by, of course, taking the sensors out and see if we can get the little butterfly out too. Uh, there it there it is that was kind of a pain this thing is probably half the weight now I can't get over how heavy all this stuff was so what we're gonna be doing is actually lopping off all of this casting right here and trying not to cut into the cylinder all of this stuff down here too we don't need it which is actually pretty cool so so a bandsaw would be pretty ideal right now but we don't have that so next best thing is the angle grinder So this thing looks like an absolute mess right now, but we're gonna sit here with the flapper wheel and uh, smooth everything out and make it look as normal as possible. And then we're gonna take it down probably to Justin's and get it all welded up because as you could see, there's two giant holes in this thing. All right, so I just went to town and banged this thing out and it looks not too bad. As you can see, it just looks like a really long throttle body. Of course, now all these holes have to get filled up. So we're gonna bring it to our go-to guy, Justin down at Morfab and uh, get the job done. You following me? What? No. <laughs> Did I pull out when you were pulling in? No. I followed you all the way here. Okay. What's up, DJ? What's good? Justin! I got another piece of old Japanese metal I need welded. <laughs> what do you think? What are we doing? We got these holes. That one. We got this one. 
that one. That little baby one right there. Yeah. Getting right. rid of that goofy so, ass man. system on the super stuff. Exactly. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, you don't like that? No, that's ear piercing, dude. <laughs> Aluminum's pretty nasty. But very sharp. Some pretty crazy technique. Yeah. Might as well get it welded from the inside, too. Nice. Oh, that looks awesome. The little stub. A little stubby. All right, we're good to go. Adjusting on the outside and the inside. That's pretty crazy. So now we got some more flapping to do. And get it ready for some uh, good old fashioned wrinkle black. So, of course, huge out. DJ's behind me beeping. Such an asshole. <laughs> of course, huge shout out to Justin at MoreFab. Always hooks me up. If you guys uh, haven't already, go check out his YouTube channel. Link's in the description. He has a lot of cool stuff, so check it out. But we're going to go back to the shop now, of course, and uh, finish this thing up. Shot. All right, so it's not perfect, but it's good enough for wrinkle black. Did you actually see I left a little pedestal right here for the throttle body? It doesn't look bad. DJ, first off, what are you doing? <laughs> and second off, what, what do you think? Looks good, right? It looks great. I like it. <laughs> what are you playing? Tuck a war with my lift? No, no, no. I'm doing something. What's that called? Uh, the workout stuff. Uh, it's like, what is it called? Uh, I don't know, just you do you, DJ. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> All right, I'm using a file to clean the edges up, make it nice, sharp. What time is it, Jimmy? Wriggle black time, Donald. You guys already know. Well, it's gotta match the intake, so. Gotta love it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'll get you in the eye. <laughs> this stuff is nasty. Is the lens full of it? I don't think so. It got me in the face, so it might have got the lens a little bit. <laughs> DJ's laughing his right. ass off. So Jimmy just painted this, got it all welded, the shitty cut, the stuff he cut off it, and now he wants to cut it in half again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tempted to redo it because, like, I'm not. It looks good. He doesn't right? like it. Either. It looks good, but it doesn't look like sick. I don't know. If I was to redo this again, which we we might. It looks like a camera. No, it does look like a camera. If I was to do it again, first off, I would get rid of this piece because you don't technically need it. It's nice to have, it, but you don't need it. Um, I would lop it off right behind it, like right here. So it's like almost the same length as normal throttle body. And I'll lop the nose off it right here and then mold the nose to that piece. And that'd be sick. Why which he not... means if he does it again, which is he's gonna do in no, I don't 10 gonna minutes, do he's gonna be no. cutting it in half. My buddy, I need a, I need a fucking, I need a um, so bandsaw. And my buddy that has one just, he already went home, so. <laughs> no, this looks good. I like it. TJ, you like it? I think it looks fine. Jimmy, what are you doing up there? Donald? What? It's flag day. Flag day? No, we, so I, I ordered a bunch of flags. I've been wanting flags forever. Just Jimmy's like, the flag man. Dude, just to like spruce up the garage a bit. Add some posters to your room to make you like it more. But, um, we just got a cool one that came in today. We got, you gotta show You yeah, can't see him. it. Uh, nope. Should we show them? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, now. Okay. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. okay. I thought this one was cool. eBay special. There's my old logo. This thing, this thing's nice, right? I like it. And it smells like old ladies. Smell it. Does this smell like an old lady? Oh, I love it. it. Smells like church. Is he scared? <laughs> so we gotta get rid of these fucking useless lights. DJ thinks we should put it above the workbench, so. I think that would be a grand spot for it. What do you think, Donald? Left or right more? I think it should go... The left? The left a little bit. No, right. Actually, that's a good spot for it right there. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got the throttle body on, and uh, I think this is a good good example of why you always test fit, test fit, test fit. And uh, here we go. It's on, and as you guys can see, it's not really going to work too well with the mid-mount setup. So, so most people I see with 1Js and S13s leave it the way it is, but they usually run a front mount since we try to run a mid-mount. I completely forgot to take in the fact that 
everything's way closer and it would look so freaking stupid to leave it like this. Because as you guys could see, the alley is all the way over here, which usually is pretty cool because you could just go nice and down to a front mount that you'd usually go through here and go down here. But since we're going right here, we'd have to do a 90 straight 90 and that would just look, it looks so stupid. Ugh. What a pain in the ass. But this is a good example of why you just, before you commit to things, test fit a million times. I mean, but it's okay. I, I know it's kind of a waste of time now because of the video, but we learned. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get to it, if not the next day. And I'm actually going to be chopping it probably right here and just either welding a lip on it or actually utilizing this factory end and just welding this up here, which I think would be cooler. Or Brian actually had a good suggestion before where we actually can cut it off right here and uh, weld a piece of intercooler pipe that's actually a 45. And that way we can already have the bend in it so we don't have to make this intrusive ass S just to get to here. I have to get something done around here so I feel accomplished for tonight. And I think it would be a good time to actually physically mount the intercooler and if the intercooler is mounted once i do finish throttle body we could start making an intercooler piping which is a really big deal as you guys can see i kind of have it shoved right in the middle here and this is basically where it's supposed to be so we're actually going to utilize these pieces up top right here as you can see there's a little nub and there's actually a thread in the inside of each nub what we could do is we can actually basically just do a through bolt through the radiator support and bolt it right to the nub but brian thinks it's a good idea if we actually utilize the factory hole right here so we don't have to drill any more holes and we'll, we'll make it look any jankier and you know what using oem holes is kind of cool so the top of the radio support right here intercooler i don't like that we have our intercooler right here so on the intercooler we have two nubs that are threaded down and on the radio support we have two circles if this work i'm thinking we'll get a flat piece of steel right just like this and I'm gonna weld a nut on it right here and the nut is gonna make up not only for the height difference but it'll now give us threads on the inside to actually put that's a bolt right into it easy peasy this looks actually pretty good Hey, should do. It's aluminum. Cool. So as you can see, it has a nice little pedestal right there, and it should work out pretty damn well. Back to Justin's. I'm back. Okay, but I didn't get to film any of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Justin was actually live streaming on his YouTube channel, and so we ended up taking over the live stream. So if you guys want to check that out, just go on his channel. But um, he welded these up for me, and of course they came out freaking perfect right here. And we're ready to go. So as you guys can see, we have a nice little pedestal with thread in it, and now we can drill the hole to bolt that onto the intercooler, and then we can make it all pretty and bolt it up. So heck yeah. Thank you again, Justin. You're the man. Pretty gnarly drill bit. All right, that's uh, that's a little bit better. And of course, this thing lines up perfectly. Nice. Look at it. Oh, dude, that literally perfect. Couldn't be any better. Now we have good clearance with the radiator. We have good clearance with the inlet and outlet. And of course we have good clearance right here. I don't think this could fit any better. So it's hanging from the top and it definitely is sturdy. It's, I mean, it's not, not going anywhere, but it could still swing. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a tab welded down here that we can actually bolt this to here and I think this should do it. All right guys, I was hoping to give you a little bit more than making brackets and shaving a throttle body, but to what it is, it's all we got today. We're still waiting on a lot of parts. Every, almost, out, everything besides the ECU and the engine harness is actually ordered for this car, which is crazy, that's huge. I'm happy I was able to get to that point where I was able to order everything. Now it's just like, whenever they wanna show up, they're gonna show up, and then of course the Miata, I ordered the ECU for that two days ago, which is sick, which means it'll be here any day. So we just gotta wait on the fuel stuff, and we almost should be able to get that thing together and running, which is crazy because, I mean, I've never heard this engine run and the whole swap, and it's a big deal. So, 
I'm really excited. But so of course, if you guys are still watching, uh, check out the Patreon. We're actually doing our first small product giveaway, which I have exclusively for the flex tier on the Patreon, which you would see if you went on it. So check it out. And uh, I'm actually giving away one of my old school Nardi Classic steering wheels to one of you lucky patrons. So doing that tomorrow, so you have only today to sign up for it. So if you guys want to get in the draw, if you guys want to help support the channel on the Patreon and have a chance and have a good chance at winning a old school Nardi Classic, join the Patreon, link in the description. So besides that, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content and I'll see you guys tomorrow.